So hi everyone. Just now GitHub has released a free tier for all the developers to use GitHub Copilot for free. So this is a revolutionary step and by this now everyone can use GitHub Copilot for free for a limited period of time. So let's get started. So first of all, I would be showing the different things that you would get in the free tier. As you can see, this is a new tier that has been introduced for developers looking to get started with GitHub Copilot. Zero dollars is required, no credit card, no debit card is required. That's the best part. And if you have VS Code already installed, you can get started immediately. Now talking about the different things that you get here is up to 2000 chat completions. 50 chat requests and you would get access to GPT 4.0 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet by default. You won't get access to Gemini 1.5 Pro or O1 Preview or O1 Mini. For that you need to upgrade. So let's get started. Once you click here as you can see it opens in the browser itself but I would be using it in the VS Code. So let's check it out there. Here you can still ask questions, ask Copilot. You can work here as well write a python script for palindrome detection i'm just testing it out i think you can try out its capabilities uh, in the later uh, in vs code and for more complex problems as well so this is in the browser let's try it out in vs code now so i already have vs code installed in my system so as you can see this is the chat window that they provide and here is the logo. So if you are already signed in into your GitHub account, that is important. You need to sign into your GitHub account for this. So once you have signed in, you should see a symbol like this open chat. And here you would be able to see this particular case. Ask Copilot. Copilot is powered by AI, so mistakes are possible. Attachments can be given at the rate chat with extension type forward slash to use commands. So let me first of all go for help and see what are its different features so as you can see that ask about your workspace explain test writing fixing new files new notebook vs code is there so forward slash search start debugging terminal is there explain something in the terminal github so you can ask questions around github you can ask questions around terminal vs code questions you can ask you can ask questions around your code everything is present this is so so amazing so let me try creating a new notebook. New notebook, you need to provide what you want the notebook for. So I will create a Jupyter notebook for tabular data analysis. Let's see what it creates. So here you can see that it is giving an outline as well and asking me to create a notebook. Once I click on this, it is creating a new notebook un untitled to giving different things so it is going with a very basic default stuff because i haven't given much information about the file but i think as you can see how useful it is here are different questions that you can ask what library should i include there are different things that you can do here uh, this is just just amazing let me search out for different other options as well Explain how the code in your active editor works. Generate test cases for the selected code. So let me try this out once. Slash test where this generate. You need to provide the sentence also what you want to do in test cases. So it is asking me to install certain Python packages also. It is doing everything automatically. I am not doing anything. I am just providing it with the go ahead, like clicking on the buttons, whether I wish to create the file or whether I wish to install the package. As you can see, it is now installing the package. Everything is for free here. And it uses GPT-40 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet for about 2000 completions. I think this is more than enough if you wish to test out the models. Here you can see that. It is written a test code for testing out for unit testing the particular code snippet that I have selected. Right. This is so, so, so amazing. Apart from that, we can try out other features as well. Help. What are different things present? VS Code, start debugging, terminal, GitHub. 
So there are many features that you can try out. I hope you might have heard of GitHub Copilot before this also, but might not have got a chance to test it out. But now you can. As you can see, some of the features are quite cool and will help you in development of your projects way faster. And by giving limited access to Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4 O as well, I think you will get a hang around of these models as well. So I hope you try out this free version of GitHub Copilot and let us know how you feel about it. Thank you so much.